Hi, I'm Paul. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add prospects to your account and how Buzzstream saves you time researching them. There are four ways to add contacts. The buzz marker, the add button, the import button, and the prospecting module. In this video, I'll show you how to use the buzz marker and how to import contacts. We'll cover prospecting in another video. The buzz marker is a bookmarklet that lets you add websites to Buzzstream, gather their link metrics, and look for contact information, all in one click. Let's bookmark a site. We'll go to a new website and then click the Link Buzz Marker button in my bookmarks bar. When I buzz mark a site, the buzz marker window appears. Here I can use tags to categorize and classify websites, turning my account into a little black book of prospects. I'll tag this site Guest Post and Online Marketing. That way, when I'm looking for guest post opportunities in the future, I can sort all of the sites in my database by guest post opportunities and reach out to them. The buzz marker also gathers SEO metrics like page rank, inbound links, Moz rank, domain authority, and others. I can use these metrics to prioritize my outreach list. These metrics also appear on my link reports, saving me valuable time. The buzz marker also looks for contact information. It tries to find email addresses, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn IDs, and any contact forms, saving me even more time and effort. Once I've buzzmarked a site, I can add notes to the website's record. If I saw an interesting post or I have something in common with the blogger, I can make note of it and use it in my outreach. Now everyone on my team can see this information in the future, building out our little black book of links. When I have an existing database of contacts or use another tool like Open Site Explorer to source link opportunities, the import option is the best way to get them into Buzzstream. We'll click the import button at the top of the websites tab. I can use my own spreadsheet or import sites and links from tools like Linkdex, Citation Labs, SEO Moz, Open Site Explorer, or Majestic. If you have your own format and you'd like it added to the dropdown, send us an email and we'll get that taken care of for you. Once I've uploaded my spreadsheet, Buzzstream will prompt me to see which fields I'd like to import. I'll pick the fields I want, and Buzzstream will add them for me. Once I've imported my list of sites, Buzzstream will begin gathering their link metrics and contact information, just as if I'd buzzmarked the sites. Buzzstream keeps this information updated and automatically rechecks it every two weeks, so if a site gains more authority, my database will reflect that and I can prioritize accordingly. So that's how you get contacts and websites into Buzzstream. If you'd like to learn more, go to support.buzzstream.com. Also, you can always reach us by email at support.buzzstream.com.